Hey awesome admins, did you know that you can support your end users as they adopt change and new features when and where they need it most while they're in the flow of work? In-app guidance walkthroughs is a low-code way to support change management and adoption within your org. I just recently made some changes to the homepage for my end users at Sunshine Chocolates. I want to guide them through the changes without having to be on a ton of training calls. Let's take a look at how I do it. Welcome to my new Sunshine Chocolates homepage. I'm going to create a walkthrough to guide my end users through it. You find in-app guidance or walkthroughs from Setup. From that main page, you'll select Add, and it'll take you to the in-app guidance builder screen. And this is where you'll determine if you want to create a walkthrough or a prompt. I need a walkthrough because I want to showcase this entire homepage. So I'll select add from the top right, and it'll guide me through the process of creating my walkthrough. The first thing it'll ask is if you want single prompt or a walkthrough. We're using walkthrough today because I've got a couple of key points I need to get across to my end users about this homepage. Next, you'll need to select whether you want a floating prompt or a docked, docked prompt. For us, we need a floating prompt. I want it to be front and center when the end user logs in to welcome them to this brand new homepage. So I'll select top center for placement, and then I'll hit next to start filling in the text of my prompt. As you type it in on the right hand side, it appears on the left hand side in the prompt so that you can spell check right from there and see what your end users will see. I have two more prompts that I need to add to this walkthrough. This next one will be highlighting the dashboard component that we created to alert our end users that they have late stage opportunities that have not sent samples out yet. We know that samples push it over the DL line, so we make sure that we send samples out because our chocolate is delicious. The next prompt I'll create will be about events and tasks because that got moved around in this new dashboard. I'm done so I can select save, and now I have to complete the settings. We won't need this walkthrough to last indefinitely, so I will pick an end date for it sometime in October. I can also set the cadence for how often I want it to appear and how much time in between its appearances. If I wanted to, I could limit it to certain profiles and certain permissions, but that's not necessary for today. I'll fill in the final details about this so I can easily reference it. But one thing I wanna note is that they all start as active. So I recommend deselecting it until you can preview the prompt. And then you can always go back and make it active, but previewing it is a good best practice. So let's do that right here. From your walkthrough, select preview from the down arrow and click through just like your end users would click through. So it gives you the idea of exactly how your end user will experience this walkthrough. Check for spelling here as well, just to make sure, <laughs> since spell check isn't built in. If all looks good, select done, and then go back and activate your prompt, and your users will start to be guided through the new homepage. All right, awesome admins, thanks so much for joining me as I created a walkthrough for my end users at Sunshine Chocolate. It'll help them adopt and learn the new homepage that I created for them. I hope that you'll explore walkthroughs to see how it can support your end users as they adopt change while they're in the flow of work. Meet them where they are in the Salesforce app. Thank you.